Our Democratic presidential hopefuls will come face to face on the debate stage in Las Vegas. But this time, there's a new candidate joining them. KPI X5's Andrea Borba live in San Francisco's Mission District with more. Andrea? Well, Alan, the first votes of the primary season here in the Democratic presidential race have already been made at this point. They have been laid out in states. We have had multiple debates at this point, but no one has gotten to vote or listen to Mike Bloomberg until today. Outside Manny's in the mission, a clock is ticking down the seconds until the 2020 presidential election. With six candidates set to square off tonight, there is one newcomer to the stage in Las Vegas. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg and everyone from scholar to voter seems to think he will have a target on his back. With his previous policies, um, the kind of racist, kind of sexist, and it's going to be interesting what he actually has to say to be president. San Jose State Professor of Political Science James Brent concurs. Well, Bloomberg's on tonight for the first time. Um, I am excited to see that. Um, I feel like uh, in the previous debates they've taken jabs at him without him being on stage. He doesn't anticipate the race will lose any candidates after South Carolina and Nevada, making California's first appearance in Super Tuesday, and all those delegates that much more important. I guess if I were Tom Steyer, I'd be worried. Uh, this is his home state, and if he can't do well here with all the money he spent, he ought to drop out. Amy Klobuchar needs momentum. There's a group of individuals who are looking at her as a potential moderate candidate. If she gets the momentum she needs here, that'd be great. If she doesn't, I think she's dead. And again, uh, Joe Biden, his candidacy is on life support. He needs California to throw him a lifeline.